What's up guys, Vitor here with another video for you. Today we're going to watch Chelsea versus Juve, but the under 10s, not the professional game. So in the previous video, we analyzed Barcelona's first touch and today we're going to analyze Chelsea's and Juve's uh, play from the back. So I've separated three moments in the game that I judged quite good for us to analyze. So stick with me and let's have a look at them and see what they've done that could have been different or maybe they did really well because in football it's difficult to say whether something was right or wrong every situation is different and every player thinks differently and you're not different right uh, so let's have a look at what happened in the game that we can maybe learn a little bit from okay so let's have a look forgot to mention that the way we're gonna work here is that we're gonna watch the play uh, first without stopping uh, the video and then we're gonna re-watch the same play and try to break it down okay so enough of me talking let's watch right so in this first one here uh, we're gonna see Chelsea playing from the back playing from his goalkeeper so let's see what they do Okay, so let's watch it again. Um, so let's have a look. Of course, uh, the movement of the players, uh, the outcome. Of course, as you as you saw, it wasn't the best. But we're not here to analyze um, just the outcome. <clears throat> we're here to also analyze what the players do to solve the problem, solve the situation that comes up. So we see the number eight trying to. Get closer, yeah, to the to the keeper. Try to give him an option to play out because this Juventus player here, of course, is going to press there. This number nine is going to press Chelsea's number nine if he passes the ball. So where's the free man here? Number ten, right? So what they're going to do? Let's have a look again. So the number eight, of course, he's too close from his marker to receive the ball, especially with his back on him. So what he does, he forgets about it and then of course his marker follows him so where's the space now here right so the number 10 is going to attack this space here to receive the ball so that's very good from Chelsea uh, how they read the play how they interact with each other very good game understanding from both midfielders and from the goalkeeper as well who were patient in this case was patient but then of course he has a very good choice here. That was a very good ball, right? But unfortunately, technically, he missed it. But the, um, the choice here was very, very good because if he made it right, he would have a, a lot of space here to run, maybe find a pass number eight or whatever. Okay, so that was the first play. Okay, so then, now we're going to watch a, a play from back from Juve. Yeah. So let's first have a look at what they do and we stop and analyze a little bit more. Yeah, that was good. Okay, so we're gonna watch it again. Um, so as you can see, Chelsea is pressing with just one man. Yeah, so. This number 11 here, if I'm not wrong, he's the one pressing uh, whoever the keeper plays to. Uh, so the Chelsea's got like, he's got three midfielders here, same as Juve. So they've got two, three, one formations. Okay, so in this case, he doesn't receive a lot of pressure. He's too far away. So he's got time and space to run with the ball a little bit. And Chelsea's individually marking all the midfielders. So what he has to do now He's going to try to find a pass forward. Yeah, so he finds the pass in between the line. Yeah, so a through pass. So in this case, he wanted, of course, to find a free man. So who was the free man in this case here now? This guy, right? So first he was being marked by this number 10. But then as he found this target man here, now he becomes available so that's the concept that it's called the third man run 
okay so when you find the second person to then find this third person here so it's one for the guy who passed the ball two and then three he's got a lot of space so he's going to create here a 2v1 yeah basically so of course uh, he knows that he knows he's like in he's being outnumbered so he makes a good decision in this case the central defender from Chelsea so he just delays the player but still makes a good play and nearly end up in goal okay so very good here from Juve so a third man run in this case we can talk a little bit more in depth in another video maybe about this but the, there it was for you okay so Let's have a look at the next play. The last play that we're going to watch today from Chelsea again. Let's see what they do. Yeah, ha happy ending. Yeah, so let's break it down. So let's try to understand what happened in this goal. Um, so again, two, three, one from the from the from both teams. Yeah, so we've got a one v one here, basically a one v one here, and there's another player from Juve. If I'm not wrong, over here. So it's another one v one. So we've got a one v two in this case. Actually, three, right? Because you've got the goalkeeper, you've got another centre back over there that you can't see now on TV, and you've got the right back, or in this case, I think he's also playing as a centre back because it's two, three, one, but they're both playing on the same side for some reason. Um, that's how Chelsea played a few times in this game. So, because it creates a 3v1 here, there's always, of course, one man available. So in this case, it's the number two. So he's got a lot of free time and space and he gets a good first touch away from his marker who's going to press him like on his back so he gets it away. And then this guy as he drops to of course protect the midfield and try to avoid the through ball. But then he finds his space on the other side to switch the play. And then good through ball looking away deceiving his markers because he's looking over here right but then he never they never expect the ball through so that's very good from him good first touch just positioning his body already um to, towards the goal so you've got two players here running forward and he reads the play really well another through and long ball and because of his effort and dedication he got the goal yeah so that's very good play from Chelsea playing from the back patiently and also with a lot of uh, quality and good reading from the game yeah so that was the third play all right so I hope you've enjoyed this type of video uh, I hope you've learned at least one thing um, and if there is anything else that you want to add to this video, like some comments, something that you've seen that I haven't said anything about or something that you think that they've done not really well, they've done really well, I don't know, whatever you want to say, just leave in the comments here below. And yeah, once again, I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.